show you the difference between standard strumming and including guitar walk-ups and walk-downs. Have a listen to this. This is C to A minor. One, two, three, four. more and more as you learn guitar. Now it's okay doing that kind of standard strumming pattern but with the connector I think it's like a little melody between the two chords. Now as we're only going to look at these three pairs of major and minor chords I'm going to show you both the walk downs and the walk ups. And there'll also be one bonus walk down, so if you'll pardon the pun, stay tuned. So what are walk downs, what are walk ups? Well, these are great ways to smoothly transition between major chords and minor chords. And this will give you a nice, I think a nice more professional sound. And one of the things I really love about guitar walk ups and guitar walk downs is that not only will your fretting fingers get a little workout, but that the fingers you're going to use for these particular walk ups and walk downs are the same. Now you heard the C to A minor walk up, but let's now have a closer look at what's going on. If you need help with any of the chords, in this beginner's guitar lesson then check the links down below and you'll find full tutorials for those chords. So here are the two chords C and A minor and I'm going to show you what we need to do the walk down and the walk down means that we're going lower and for these walk downs we're going to be using 4-4 four, four time which is basically 1-2-3-4 1-2-3-4 three, four, so four strums, four beats in a bar. But you can do this with any time signature, four, four, three, four, 12, eight, nine, seven, six and nine. And, but we're gonna use the four, four because I think it's a great way to begin. So we need two bars and we'll split up the bar and take this nice and slowly. And I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step approach to do these walk downs. So this is the first bar, and the first bar we, we are walking down from C major, and the second bar will be the A minor chord. So for beats one and two, we're gonna strum the C major chord. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now for beat three, hold the chord, and now pick the fifth string, the A string. So it's this string here. So you're not doing anything with the fretting hand. Everything stays the same. As I said, hold the chord. So this is your third beat. Now the fourth beat, slightly different. What you need to do is move the second finger across. But hang on a sec. Take this finger off. Take the third finger off. Move the second finger across to the second fret of this fifth string, the A string, and then you're going to pick this string. So what we've got for beats three and four is this. And you can hear that those two notes are getting lower. And then what we're going to do, we now go into the second bar, which is where we're going to strum our A minor chord. And that's kind of like the resolution of this walk down. So let me play this whole thing slowly for you. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I 
think the difficult part will be that shifting this finger over to here for that fourth beat of the bar. And not just shifting it over, but trying to keep it in time. Because remember, you're playing rhythm guitar, you don't want to be speeding up, you don't want to be slowing down. Especially if someone is singing along with you. So, play along with me for a few bars, and then we'll look at the walk-up. So two bars of C major, and on the second bar of C major, we'll do the walk down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. So using the same chords, C and A minor, we're now going to do the walk up. So we're kind of going higher. And we're playing it again, we're going to play it over two bars and in 4-4. Four, four. And let's have a look at the steps now. So for beats 1 and 2, we've got two strums of A minor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Now that leaves us with beat three and beat four. But we're going to hold the chord down. Don't take anything off just yet. Now with beat three, we're going to pick the open fifth string. That's this one here. And that's an open A string. And that's the third beat. Now the fourth beat is nice because all we're going to do is we're going to take this finger off here and put it on the second fret of the A string, this string right here. And that's our fourth beat, that's the second pick. And it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you can hear as we walk up. One, two, three, four. Hear the notes getting higher, which is why we are walking up. Usually up, when we talk about guitar playing, up means going higher, getting a higher note. Here is A minor to C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, So let's play this together. Let's put the walk down from C major to A minor together with the walk up from A minor to C. So we'll play two bars of each chord and it's on the second and fourth bars we'll do the walk down and then the walk up. And here's the chord progression and you'll see exactly what we're doing. One, two, three, four. 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 Ah, oh, it's a lovely sound. So why are guitar walk-ups and guitar walk-downs so great? Well, in my opinion, I think it's because they have really great transitions. They make the transitions between a chord, uh, between two chords smoother. Because sometimes, you know, when you're playing guitar, moving between a C and an A minor can sometimes feel maybe a little bit clunky. But, you know, when you're adding walk-ups, you know, it's when you're going higher, or guitar walk-downs, you know, when you're going lower, you know, when you add those between chords, this can help the transition, make it more smooth. 
And it's like adding a little ramp between steps so you can glide from one to the other without tripping over. So here are the guitar walk downs and walk ups from G to E minor and E minor to G. And the two chords look like this. This is how I play G major with these fingers here, the fourth, third and second. If you play G major with your first, second and third fingers, I'll show you how to do the walk down and walk ups with those as well. So let's split this up again into two bars. So bar one is gonna have the walk down to the E minor chord. For the first two beats of bar one, we are just playing the G major chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we'll hold the chord. Don't take anything off just yet. And for the third beat, you're gonna pick the sixth string. This sixth string here, this is the lowest string. This is the one closest to you. And this is also the, the low E string. So we're gonna pick this once. So you're just gonna go. And now, like with the C chord, you're gonna lift up this finger and then move your second finger over to the sixth string, the low E string here, on the same fret. And then you're gonna pick, for the fourth beat, you're gonna pick the sixth string again, like so, before we go into the next bar, which is the E minor. So we have one, two, pick, pick, strum. All right, so this is what we've got here. So it's again that, third beat and the fourth beat which give you the walk down to the E minor chord. So play along with me, we'll do two bars of G and on the second bar of G we'll do the walk down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, Again, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So did you notice that the walk down was basically the same but on the sixth string? So what do you think is gonna happen with the walk up? So okay, yes, it's, it's the same. From the E minor to the G, we'll do this. So bar one, we'll strum two times the E minor chord. One, two, three, four. One, two. We'll hold the chord, right? And then for beat three, pick the open sixth string. That's this one right here. So beat three goes that. Beat four, this finger again, this lovely little finger here is going to shift over to the second fret of the low E string and that's the fourth beat of the bar. So it sounds like this. This is the E minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And Again, you hear the walk up before we go into the G major chord. So you hear it kind of getting higher and higher. One, two, three, four. 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 One, So play along with me, we'll do two bars of E minor, followed by two bars of G, and then we'll repeat that. One, two, three, four. If you're 
playing the G major chord using this particular shape with the third finger, first finger and second finger, idea is still the same, but your first and second finger will be doing the walk down. And it's, it's basically the same thing. So you'll, you'll strum two beats, then the third beat, you'll pick the sixth string, but then it's your first finger that's coming over, obviously release this finger, and then play that string here, play that E string here at the second fret with the first finger. So you're just doing this, one, two, Going up from the E minor to the G major. So there's the E minor chord, you'll play two of those. But what you'll have to do is you'll probably have to take off the E minor chord completely to get that finger on, uh, that first finger at the second fret. I find it much easier if I take it off, if I take the chord off rather than keeping the chord on. And then you'll put your second finger on the third fret of the low E string and get yourself ready to play the G major chord. It really isn't a big problem because what will happen is the more you practice this um, walk up and walk down, you'll just get used to it, you'll develop muscle memory and everything will be hunky-dory. Before we get into the F and D minor walk down and walk up, let's put the G, E minor, C and A minor chords into a little progression and have a strum. Now, we're just gonna keep it simple, so just use down strums for this. You can use different strumming pattern if you want, but I'd recommend, if you're just starting out, keep it simple, just use four down strums in each bar. And what we'll also do is we'll look at a little bonus walk down while we're at it. One, two, three, I thought I'd throw in a D major chord there just to keep you on your toes. Now the bonus walk down is from the E minor to the C and it looks like this. So we're going to play two strums of the E minor. Now on the third and fourth beat you're going to hit the fourth string, the D string of the E minor chord. That's your third beat. Then release your third finger and then play the open D string before going into the C chord. So once again, one, two, threw in a little walk up from the D major chord to the G chord in that longer progression and it went something like this. If you want to know how to do that particular walk up then check out the video here or check out the links down below for a full tutorial for guitar walk ups for basic major chord transitions. 
So why are guitar walk-ups and walk-downs great? Well, I think they sound cool. I think these walk-ups, these walk-downs, they add a really nice touch to your guitar playing. You know, they make your, your playing sound more interesting, more professional, even if you're just starting out. And uh, it's like adding some fancy decorations to your staircase. It makes it look cooler. Now, every beginner guitarist's favorite chord the F major chord, and it's a great chord, don't be scared. So these are the shapes, F major and D minor, we're gonna do walk ups and walk downs for these two chords as well. Now can you guess the fingers you're gonna to use to get from F to D minor? Let me know down in the comments. Hey man, what's for dinner? Hey man, what you got? So it's the same, all three of these pairs of chords have the same fingers in common when walking down or walking up, especially if you play the chords the way I do. Now, of course, the F major chord has its challenges, but please don't let it stop you from trying this guitar walk down and walk up. Now, the more you work on your F major chord, the better and more comfortable you're gonna be with it. So let's have a look at this again. We're gonna split it up into two bars and here are the steps. So bar one looks like this. So we've, we've got the F major chord. And we're gonna strum that two times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So beat three, we're gonna pick the fourth string, this D string here. Remember, don't do anything with the chord, keep it there. So that's your third beat. Now you're gonna remove this finger and then switch over that second finger onto the second fret of this D string. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And again, you can hear that walk down as we go lower. One, two, And then we're going to strum that D minor chord. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, so play along with me. We'll do two bars of F two bars of D minor. Remember on the second bar is when we do the walk down. And we'll play this through a couple of times. One, two, three, four. 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 So the walk up from D minor to F major looks like this. Again, two bars. The first bar will have the walk up and the second bar will go to the F major chord. So again, here are the steps. Guess I'm just... So beats one and two will strum the D minor. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So on the third beat of the bar, hold the chord and keep the chord held and then pick the open D string, the fourth string, which is this one here. Pick that, that's your third beat. Again, move your second finger across to the second fret of the same, this D string here, and that's picked for your fourth beat. And again, you'll hear the walk up. So one, two, three, four. That there is the walk up. So have a listen, I'll play through this a few times. One, two, three, 
four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you may have noticed while I've been doing some of these walk-ups that you know my hand is not going all over the place. Sorry, my strumming hand is not going everywhere. You know, I'm not doing this too much. I'm kind of keeping it very close to the fretboard. So like with that last F to D minor and D minor to F, you know, I was keeping very close. I was kind of keeping my my this part of my hand, what is this? I don't know what it's called. Uh, this part here close to the, I don't know the technical names of these uh, parts of the guitar. Is this the bridge? I don't know, no idea. But on this bit here, and you know, I'm just kind of resting it there so that I can just be close enough to the string. Now, as you get better, you will be able to do this sort of thing. But that will come with a lot of practice, which is something that you've got to do. So whether you're doing the C to A minor or the G to the E minor, you know, you can kind of keep your hand quite close to the fretboard while you do the walk downs. And then as you get used to this, as you develop uh, and, and understand this technique a lot better, you'll be able to be more relaxed and be a little bit freer with your strumming hand. Now, let's put that F and D minor walk down and walk up together. Two bars of F, two bars of D minor, two bars of F, two bars of D minor. And I think we'll repeat that because I think that F chord needs a bit of work, doesn't it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. guitar walk downs and walk ups great. Well, I think practice makes improvement, practice makes progress and I think practicing these walk ups, these walk downs helps you get better at switching chords quickly and more accurately and walk ups and walk downs will help you get that F chord right too. So just like practicing walking up and down stairs makes you better at stairs and less likely to trip uh, practicing these musical movements improves your coordination, your control of your plectrum, and your guitar skills in general. Stairs analogies. What was I thinking? For more guitar walk up practice, start putting what you've done here into songs that you know. And check out this playlist here and let your fingers do the walking. Thanks for joining me today. Happy strumming.